What's up, folks? This is Josh here from Inside Wrestling Truth. When we talk about pro wrestling and a love for pro wrestling. Um, I've been away for a while. Uh, just been taking a break. You know, uh, the big leagues of pro wrestling like the WWE and the TNA, man, it's just, it's really, really been so boring to me. Uh, there really just isn't anything to talk about, you know. Um, you know, we're going to talk a little wrestling today. Oh, we're going to talk about TLC. Uh, and some other things. Uh, first thing I would like to do <coughs> is I would like to apologize to one Father Fear. Um, Father Fear works in the indie scene. And uh, me and him I had problems before, but uh, a couple of nights ago I sat down and did a, and then another interview with him. Uh, him and uh, Jimmy Felcher and uh, we kind of squashed our beef and um, I just wanted to apologize to him you know it was more of a uh, we didn't understand each other at the time and uh, I just wanted to apologize to him now let's talk about the WWE TLC um you know, I've been getting personal messages from a few people asking me where I've been, what's my thoughts on TLC. Um, to be honest with you, I really don't care. I really do not care about this pay-per-view. Um, <clears throat> we can we can start with the John Cena Randy Orton match, uh, the main event. I could give two fucks about both guys bore me to death anymore. Um, you know, I would love to see Cena turn heel, but I mean, when are we gonna do this? You know, uh, Orton. I was always a fan of Orton, but I'm, I'm kind of fading from it. You know, uh, I want to see a mean or you know, just ruthless, injuring people, punting people. You know, I'm tired of seeing this, this new heel Orton that we got. It's kind of like a kind of like a sissy, you know, it's just kind of fucking gay to me, man, uh, you know, my thoughts on it, I think Cena's gonna win, I mean, yeah, I don't see Cena losing, um, now that I said that Orton will probably win, uh, other matches on the night, you got... CM Punk vs. The Shield. Well, we've seen problems with The Shield, so I'm sure CM Punk will win. You got uh, Daniel Bryan versus the Wyatt family. The Wyatt's will win that. We got the Intercontinental match. Big E Langston vs. Damian Sandow. Big E will win that. Um, you know, just boring shit. You know? That don't make any sense. You know? Like, why would you have two matches, okay? With two of your top stars against three people. I mean, Daniel Bryan, CM Punk, those are the, the best workers in the WWE, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, what is boring man Raw's been fucking boring the ending of Raw last week was pretty good but other than that it's just been boring I haven't really had much to talk about uh you know I hope I wish TNA the best I hope uh they come around um I seen Chris Heroes working for uh Ring of Honor again and CZW um, that's cool. Um, there's just not a whole lot going on in wrestling right now for me to talk about, guys. I'm sorry. Um, that's why I haven't been making no videos. Plus, it's the holiday. It's, you know, it's 
time is limited um, but I will be making more videos I'm done with the independent interviews for the year but in 2014 I will have some very very good interviews for you and I'll uh, have some surprises for you as well um, if you get the time go check out my boy Madman Pondo's video a hardcore legend to the fullest um, uh, we're a good friend you know Pondo really cool guy he speaks the truth on a lot of things in his interview but uh, yeah man I just want to drop in do a little interview at, uh, interview do a little video to you guys uh, let y'all know what's been going on uh, nothing in wrestling is really just doing anything for me right now uh, I think Daniel like I said I think Daniel Bryan should be champion um, I don't have no problem with any of the other champions um, it sucks that they're gonna break up the shield but yeah TNA I don't really watch TNA so um, I watch the reviews from my boy Andre Corbell I watch his reviews he does I think he does the best TNA reviews but uh, I wish them the best uh, Chris he wrote back in Ring of Honor that's cool uh, that'll help bring on out a lot. Perf I think it's a perfect fit for him. You know, because WWE definitely dropped the ball with him. Uh, but, uh, this is Josh signing off, man. From Inside Wrestling Truth. Please subscribe. Please watch. But I always say, get your money and pay your bills. Peace. <laughs>